Okay, so I need to hurry up and make this video about a judge named Tracy Gilbert. I had to call 911 on him last night, reporting him to the Conroe Police Department that he is a presiding judge over a case where my child's father, Austin John Matter, he is Caucasian and he is a convicted felon. His mother, she is his adopted mother, a Caucasian female, an old Caucasian female named Cynthia Olvera, and she has been living in Magnolia, Texas. She is a child molester, and Austin was attacking me in my apartment at 1308 Houston Street in September 2018. He had just been released from prison July 2018. My 22-month-old my child, Melbourne Halo Metter, was in my arms inside of Baytown Seafood. I went asking for help, and he attacked me in the restaurant, and I had to defend myself. There was a witness, and a sheriff named Jim McDougal said he was an investigator working for the brunette woman at the bottom, Inger Chandler, who was set to be my lawyer. They arrested me for protecting myself and tried to murder me in the back of the Montgomery County Jail uh, from January 2019 to August 2019. And Patty Maginus, the blonde at the top, she was the judge that was trying to charge me and give me 99 years in prison for protecting myself while they were trying to murder me in the back of the Montgomery County Jail. And Cynthia Vera said that she was raping my child with police because I shot Austin in the leg in self-defense. The charges were dropped. I was not guilty. She said she was raping him with police, with her husband, Joseph Overa, with Austin John Metter. And while they were trying to murder me in the back of the jail, they sued me for Melbourne Halo Metter. They took him from the scene where Austin was attacking me. And the Conroe police gave my child to Cynthia Overa. And she said that she raped my child. I have reported Cynthia Overa to the Conroe Police Department. I have re I was released on the charges August 2019 and they have since tried to set me up to be murdered and staged to say uh, that I did not have a home. They sued me for my son through family court, through Tracy Gilbert's courtroom after they said they were raping my child and had the entire country staging to have me outside. So I had to report Tracy Gilbert because they are continuing to do this and Cynthia Overa is trying to skip town. I have filed a police report on her and I have called a uh, child protector services. Uh, Child Protective Services is lying and trying to say that it's a custody thing. The police department is lying, trying to say that it's a custody thing. They have people setting me up that say that they are in the Illuminati. Cynthia said she was in the Illuminati. They said that they were making Austin a grand worshipful master in the Illuminati for letting them rape my child, who is a mixed race little boy. I am African and Indian. Austin is white. He is our firstborn child. And they took him saying that they raped him and they did not return my child. I'm working, trying to get an apartment. And Cynthia is having people contacting me on my social media platforms where I am putting out information about her and the investigation, threatening me. Uh, she has since gotten a restraining order at her home, stopping me from coming to see about the whereabouts of my child with CPS and everybody else helping to set me up. They tried to set me up to be murdered. And they're contacting me on my social media platforms, saying that Judge Tracy Gilbert is saying that she is legally his mother. Um, they are trying to say that I did not want my child. I have been all over social media telling that he has banned me from my child through uh, her courtroom saying that Cynthia, through his courtroom saying that Cynthia could have my child. And I'm trying to go into his courtroom and file a suit against Cynthia for her to return my child to me through his courtroom. And she's trying to skip town. She has uh, people contacting me saying that she's leaving Texas, saying that he's going to allow her to say that she is legally my child's mother so that she can skip town and we don't even know if the boy is alive. I'm trying to sue her to see the whereabouts of my son. She said she was raping him with police. I am in Conroe, Texas, and I have since been up to the Montgomery County Courthouse several times telling us this information in front of the courthouse. I work on the same street as his courthouse. I am three blocks down working for my child from his courthouse for him to see this lie and say that she can skip town with my child. I called 911 on him as soon as I saw the message threatening me saying that she was trying to skip town. So I called 911 and reported him that he is allowing a 
child molester to try to skip town with my baby and that they have tried to set me up to be murdered ever since he said this woman could have my child. The Cairo police are involved with covering up the information that she raped my child because she said she was raping him with police as well on the Cairo police force. So they told me I could not file the report with them and that I would have to go above him. But I'm putting out the information to let y'all know how deep this is. And I want him charged if he let Cynthia step foot out of this state with saying that she has my child with her and she said she was raping him.